Say all right, so first and foremost, I want to give all praises and all glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yoshai, Bashem, Kakodash. We said that the apostles and elders agreement on the well of teachers of apostles and the truth, and we say salutations, holy arguments, the preaching of the word and truth, and sincerity, day and day, day and day out, and the content, the incident and season, we say shalom. You know, once again, go into the video here, and it's basically touching upon how the Lord have a chosen people. Now, contrary to popular belief, because you know, the, the, in, uh, the popular belief is that the Lord deals with everyone. The Lord chose everyone, you know, just this Christ, just listen to these Christians talk, just listen to these Catholic talks, talk, and many other of these religions, or these church goers, these churches talk, they would make it believe that the Lord dealing with everyone, that the Lord chose everyone, when literally the Lord tell you it's a particular people he dealing with, you understand, it's a particular people he dealing with, it's a reason why these white people, they run you understand and through all the years they receive people to believe that they are the chosen of the lord they that they are the israelites you understand because they know that the lord deal the lord deal dealing with the israelites you understand um and what is part from is that you know when he was doing the works someone came up and he asked a question and we were telling him do you know that the lord have a chosen and just like many other people um that 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 come up or many other people also they they don't know that because they believe is that the, that is everybody going to get saved everybody the lord dealing with and so on and so forth but when they go when they go into the scriptures right the lord tell us straight who it is he dealing with and this is the book of psalms chapter 147 I'll, I'll read from verse 19. he say he showed his word unto jacob his statutes and his judgments unto israel so he say he showed his word unto jacob his statutes and his judgments unto israel he didn't say everyone he tell you he, he tell you who jacob and israel now again in, in, in christian belief they would want to believe that the lord show his word unto everybody the lord dealing with everybody you understand when it's far from the truth you see you see you see men like vocab malone and and many other christian teachers and so on how they go around trying to prove that the lord the lord just in dealing with israel alone when but when you go to the scriptures the lord telling you who it is dealing with if it was so, when, when it was um, um, Egypt and Israel, he, he would not he, he would not do the things on the Egypt that he did. You understand? But the Lord literally tell you who it is he dealing with. He dealing with the Israelites, which are today the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Natives, right? And you would have the you would have them that that would look like the other nations, but they are of the seed of Israel. But the Lord is dealing with the Israelites. You understand? That is who we dealing with. As again, as I said, um, when when the situation with Palestine and and, and these white people, these <laughs> these big these white people on the land, right? One of the things the one of the things Esau come on to say is that they are the Lord's chosen because they call themselves Israelites. They are not the they are not the true Israelites, but today, you know, they, they make everybody believe that they are the Israelites, right? And one of the things that, that, that they were saying that they were saying is that they are the Lord's chosen. Why would they say that? Because they know in the scriptures that the Lord dealing with the Israelites. Now they are not, right? They are not. But they themselves know that the Lord dealing with a particular people. And not everyone. Right? So you say, He showed it his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He had not dealt so with any nation, and as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye the Lord. So you say he he had not dealt so with any nation. So the Lord telling you one time, he didn't dealt so with any other nation. He de he, he dealt with Israel like that, but not any other nation. So you say he had not dealt so with any nation, and as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye the Lord. So are you going to deny the scriptures? Because why? You're in the feelings, and you find that everybody should be saved and so forth. No, no. The Lord tell us straight who it is he dealing with. And just like, as I said, when the guy came up and asked us and he was breaking it down for him, he was like, yeah. Um, even, I think he was telling us, like, like he, his grandfather and his grandmother was telling them something along those lines, right? But you see, over the years, that, that the <laughs> Christianity take that big, where it is today is the, is the biggest religion upon planet Earth. And you know, they have deceived majority of the people to believe that everybody go and get saved that the lord dealing with everyone you know the lord will deal with with a particular people and so forth 
so then if it's so to, to then why are these white people on the on the land saying they are the lord's chosen matter of fact why do christianity call them the chosen but when, when it comes to us when it comes to the so-called negroes latinos and natives saying we are the israelites all of a sudden all of a sudden right it, it that that the lord dealing with everyone it doesn't matter the lord will watch color and all these things that, that i do that's to show you hey <laughs> christianity is really a, a, a dead man belief go on seeing that you basically become like a dead person The Lord strictly tell her here he had not dealt so with any nation, and as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord tell us straight, he dealt so with any other nation. So how could he deny? It? You know, one of the things you could say, one of the things Christian like to say is that the Lord will deal with the old. But it literally states, and he it, you all use the book of Psalms. So you're gonna deny the book of Psalms. Once again, these these people is all about it's all not it's never about the truth. They they would they would deny the Lord they would deny the Lord's saints deny the Lord would just just so that they could they, they could lie you know but what else what else would they get out of Christianity and um, Catholicism, Catholicism you know and many other things and many other other religions you know what would they get there are no truth in there other than lies so let's go to the book of Amos chapter three verse one right they say here this word Hear this word that the Lord God had spoken against you, O children of Israel. So he telling you again, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known of all the families of the earth. So yes, it have all these families, but you only have I known. You only have I known. Therefore I will punish you for all your iniquities, and just like a father would punish his child, that is what he did unto us. Right? once again we, we stray away from the lord so we receive a judgment and and now when we go to the curses right and you go you go to the curses and you read the curses the curses because it said that it shall be a sign to thee forever even unto our seed and even unto this day you can literally see who the curses fall upon and it ain't those white people that on the land they are not the chosen they are not the israelites you understand but they know Again, they know that the Lord chose Israel. So they want to be that, but they are not. All right? So it say, You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. I will punish you for all your iniquities. Right? But as you say, You only have I known of all the families of the earth. So it have, have no denying that. Once it, once it denied this, deny these things is just basically denying the word and he denying the lord he denying the things that the lord said let's go to um let's go to the De deuteronomy 7. <clears throat> this is deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6. It says, For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself, above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Of all people that are face upon the earth. So, where does it go and say? They go and deny this? Because now they will say, Now nah, the old done away with, now they deal with the new. But we could go in the new and say, same way we can find those scriptures talking about Israel. Revelation 7 tell you about. Revelation 7 tell you about um right Revelation 7 tell you about them at seal right the servants say Lord be sealed and tell you a number out of each tribe of the children of Israel. It have our next um I think it's Revelation 22 or some 2022 we talk about the gates and I tell you the gates is for the tribes of Israel. So you go and deny these things and, and again in many other scriptures we could go with that. Talk about the matter. Let's go to let me just bring it out here. Have a next. Um, go to the book of James, right? It said, James is servant of God and of the Lord Yahweh Shai Mashiach to the twelve tribes, to the twelve tribes which are scattered abroad. Greeting to the twelve tribes scattered abroad. Greeting. So, who are the twelve tribes? We're talking about Israel, so that's who they was dealing with. 
But again, Christianity, this, they rather denounce the, the word. Again, it's just it's just a fool. People that make everybody believe that the, that the Lord come and they save everyone. And the Lord dealing with everyone. When the scriptures see, the scriptures speak out against that. They say, for thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God, the Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Right? Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Up, up, above all people. All. You understand? Because what, what people fail to realize, you know, you know they, they don't like the harsh truth. They do like the harsh truth, but once you're reading the scriptures, the truth will the truth will always be harsh, no matter what. Right? No matter what. Esau and, and Esau love to love to make people believe that they are the best in the world, they are the chosen, they are above everybody else. But when it comes to us, when it comes to come to the true Israelites, all of a sudden we need to share that glory. All of a sudden we're not important. All of a sudden it's everybody needs to be saved. You know? But the scripture says again, For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Above all people that are upon the face of the face of the um upon all people that are upon the face above above, sorry, above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Above all. All. Just as when we amos it are families, but he dealing with this particular family. Not all of them. Right? And I straight to the point. Wait, wait, is it going to say? That the Lord and you know when, when once you read Deuteronomy, you read you read Deuteronomy coming in here, no way to see the who it is he was talking to. He was talking to who? The Israelites. You understand? He was talking to the Israelites. Right? <laughs> um what uh But, uh, um, this is Second Samuel seven verse twenty three, right? Second Samuel seven verse twenty three, and what one nation in the earth is like thy people, even like Israel. Whom God went to redeem for a people to himself. Whom God went to redeem for a people to himself. And to make him a name. And to do for you great things and terrible for, and terrible for thy land. Before thy people which thou redeemest to thee from Egypt. From the nations and their gods. For thou hast confirmed to thyself thy people Israel. To be a people unto thee forever. And thou, and thou, Lord, had become their God. You understand? And the Lord, the Lord mentioned he's the, um, he's the God of the Hebrews. So are you going to deny that? It's, it's strictly telling here. It say, and what one nation is the earth, in the earth is like thy people, even like Israel. So tell him one time, who's the Lord people? Israel, whom God went to redeem for a people to himself and to make him a name. And to do for you great things and terrible for thy land before thy people, which thou redeemest to thee from Egypt, from the nations and the gods. For thou hast confirmed to thyself thy people Israel to be, to thyself thy people Israel to be a people unto thee forever. And thou, and thou Lord, art become their God, and the Lord become our God. And somebody say to be his people forever. Just like some people like to say, it's spiritual Israel and and Israel done away with and all these things. No. The, the Israel remain remains the Lord chosen forever. They remain remain the Lord's people forever. You understand? And I say become the God. Let me just find this here. Lord God of the Hebrews. I think it's Exodus right here. Let me get this one here. Um, um Yeah, so Exodus 3 verse 18 you see, and they shall and they shall hearken to thy voice, and thou shalt come 
Come thou and the elders of Israel unto the king of Egypt, and ye shall say unto him, The Lord God of the Hebrews hath met with us. The Lord God of the Hebrews. So are you denying it? He is the Lord, he is the God of the Hebrews, not everybody. You understand? Because all you know, you think about it, all these other nations have their gods. And their gods is unto their people. You don't hear Elam say this is for everybody or whatever it is. But when it comes to the Lord God of the Hebrews, all of a sudden it's for everybody. It, it, it wouldn't make sense. You say, you, say, you say Moab saying Buddha is for everybody. No. No. It said the Lord God of the Hebrews had met with us. And now let us go, we beseech ye, three days journey into the wilderness that we may sacrifice to the Lord our God, right? And again, Exodus 5, 3, and they said, The God of the Hebrews had met with us. Again, showing it up. Exodus 9, verse, verse 1, it said, Then the Lord said unto Moses, Go in, go in unto Pharaoh and tell him, Thus said the Lord God of the Hebrews, Let my people go, that they may serve me. Let my people go. So he's talking about Israel. Because we know, I sure everyone know, everyone know the story of Moses, um, Moses and Israelites, Egypt and Israel, right? Everybody know the story. Telling it, thus said, the, thus said the Lord God of Hebrews, let my people go that they may serve me. That they may serve me. And the Lord telling you, who, the Lord God of the Hebrews. So it's not, it's, it's not for everybody. You understand? It's not for everybody. It's for the Israelites, the Lord's chosen. Right? As I said before, all the Israelites and nations, they have their gods. Their gods is for them. Their gods are no gods, we know that. Right? But their gods are for them. It's written for them. You don't hear Elam saying their god is for everybody. You don't hear Moab saying that. You don't hear, you don't hear um, the Egyptians saying that. You know? But when it comes to the Lord God, when it comes to, comes to the God of the Bible, all of a sudden it's for everybody. And not for Jake. <laughs> you know? And not for Jake. It's the same way they like to say it when it comes to the color, the, the color of the Messiah. For years, for years, the color of the Messiah was, was, was white, right? Was white. Long hair, blue eyes, whatever it is. But all of a sudden, the truth come on side, they know that, that the Lord was not white. You understand? He was a man of color, right? All of a sudden, color matters. Color don't matter. You know, it doesn't matter what the Lord look like. You know? But that's it, because when the truth comes out, say that the only thing they can try to defeat the truth is, is with a lie. But it don't work. Right? But nonetheless, the Lord have a chosen, right? So, hey, with that, we give all praises and on glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, by Hashem, by Hashem, by Hashem, You see that, brother, and say, Apostles and Elders of Great Muslims, we will teach us our apostles and the truth. And we say, salutation, so they are coming to the pushing, we do not treat them in society, day in and day out. No, can't tell you in season, or season, we say, Shalom.